on December 3rd, the phone rings and I was not at home, but my brother Kevin, I remember him calling me and there was a lot of screaming in the background. And it was my mother and Kevin said, come on, just come on. And I was like, what, what's going on? And he hung up. I, I called back and he said, man, Tick died. And I said, what? He said, Tim died. So I went home and my wife, uh, we drove to my mom's house. And when I got there, the chaplain called. I happened to be there when the chaplain called back. And he said, Miss, Miss Session, will you be claiming his body? And she said, absolutely. And remember my brother telling me growing up, and it, it hit home. He said, you know, the last will be first one day. And I didn't understand. And we needed to, to bury him. And I called a friend of the family who ran one of the busiest funeral homes in the, in, in the country. And uh, he answered, I said, Dr. Spencer, uh, we need you to go to uh, pick up my brother Tim. He's in he was at died in prison, and I don't remember. It was probably two o'clock that afternoon, and somehow around seven thirty, probably eight thirty at night, <clears throat> phone rang again, and he said, Corey. I Yes, he said, Gregory Spencer. I said, yes, sir. Tell Miss Session, I have Timothy's body and it's perfect. And Dr. Spencer called, tell you Tim is here and his body is perfect. And he said, oh, she said, oh, thank the Lord. Because he always feared he had, you know, would get beaten up. He'd been stabbed and would never tell her or something like that.